Okay, this is take five of the planet Jupiter on the evening of April 14th, 15th, 2018. We're battling not the world's greatest scene conditions tonight. Every now and then the planet snaps in crisply. In fact, you'll notice that throughout this video. Uh, we have it through a Milan 250 telescope, 3,000 milliliter focal length, have a 2.5x Barlow, which, and a 10 millimeter eyepiece, which um, takes up the magnification to about 750 power here. Camera's in Alpha 7S, Sony Alpha 7S set to uh, 1 30th of a second shutter, ISO is um, 10,000. A couple of moons, there's one to the lower right, which might be I, and there's one off to the far left, which is, I think, Ganymede. Uh, but I could be wrong, it's one or the other. A um, little bit of dirt in my optical train because there's a speck of dust or two on the left side of the planet. I'll move this thing over just a bit other way. Get it uh, away from that dust. Um, three weeks away from our position, closest uh, distance to Earth. Currently she's four and a half astronomical units away. It's over 670 million kilometers from Earth. Here we see some pretty decent prominence equatorialish cloud belts and uh, when seeing allows you can catch some whirls and swirls finer detail in those belts and other parts of the planet um, shooting this from Los Angeles California on a upper 50s I believe degree evening local times about 2 15 almost in the morning we're about 15 minutes away from transiting the uh, meridian, which is when the planet will be highest in the sky, and uh, supposedly clearest at that time. Now it's looking better. Um, pretty nice at the moment. Send that back to the center of the screen a little bit. I'm standing in my driveway looking at the planet Jupiter at 750 power. This feels a pretty good chunk of the screen, actually. Um, reaches out position on May 8th, a few weeks away, like I said, and pretty good. So you can almost see a little bit of bluish hues sometimes in that lower reddish belt. By the way, the image is inverted because the uh, 10 millimeter eyepiece, I think, flips everything around, and the camera just looks into that A focally. There's a 55 millimeter lens on the camera looking into the eyepiece. So, there you have Jupiter, close to the meridian, um, in a couple weeks from opposition, so it's looking pretty good right now. Hmm, every now and then I get a decent shot of it here. Okay, we'll call that a wrap, and maybe try a couple more to see how much better things get, or worse, whatever. Okay, Jupiter at 750 power. From LA.